Okay, so we got a little surprise yeah. the last time. It turned out there was a little bit more information in this picture than we initially thought yeah. uh, when we studied the picture. Mm -hmm. And we found that <coughs> A, which represents what in this picture? Part of the diameter. Yeah, it represents part of the diameter of the big <coughs> circle. It represents one of the sides of the triangle. Yeah, it represents one of the sides of the triangle. It also represents the diameter of the circle. Yeah, it also represents the diameter of the smaller semicircle here. Yep. And B... It represents the diameter of this. Yeah. So hiding inside of this is, we know that A times B has to equal what? 16. 16, yeah. And so... Now we have an interesting thing we can do. Since this is the diameter and the, and the area comes from the radius, yeah. I'll just call this 2 little r. Yeah. And what does that mean b has to be? Well, if they multiply to be 16. If they multiply to be 16. 8 little r? Well, if it's 8 little r, what do those multiply well, 16 to 16 little r. Squared. 16 r squared. So it'll have to be 8 over 8 r. divided by r. See, when you multiply now, what happens to the r's? They cancel out. They cancel out, mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the radius of this circle? Here, the small one. It's r. Little r. What's the radius of this circle? This is a more challenging question. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four times four times two r. No. Wait. Hmm? Four over two r. Why? Why are you saying over two r? Well, if you divide it in half. Yeah. Well, well, maybe four over one half r. Well, what if r was one? What would, the, what would 8 over r be? 8. And so what would half of it be? 4. 4, okay. What if r was 2? So that would be 4. So what would, what would half of it be? 2. 2, okay. So let's see. What expression is going to be half of 8 over r? What do you think? So maybe... 4 over r? 4 over r, there you go. And we can check because when r is 1, we want this to be 4. Right? Yeah, so. so that works. And when r is 2, we want it to be what? Mm, 2. 2. So it's 4 over 2 equal 2? Yep. Yeah. There we go. So now we have the radius of the small circle and the big, and the big semicircle. And we also know Diam the, the diameter of the really big semicircle is what? Is, is 4 over r plus r. That's the radius of the big circle. What's the diameter of the big semicircle? Well, that times 2. Okay, how do I find it? Can you show it to me in the picture? Well, you just... <coughs> this plus this. This plus this. So it's 2r plus 8 over r. 2r plus 8 over r. And then how do I find the radius of the big circle? You divide that by 2. Divide it by 2. And what do I get? See, 4r plus r because these are both the radii. Yeah, 4 over r. Yeah, 4 over r. Over r. Over r. Okay, so now all of a sudden I have found algebraic expressions for the three radiuses. Cool. And what do I need to do then to find the area of what was the shaded region? Well, cool. you need to subtract the area. So you, need, you need to square this and multiply it by pi. Uh huh. And then square these and multiply them by pi. Okay. And then subtract these from that. All right. Anything else I have to do? Well, you have and to divide, divide it by then two. Then divide everything by two at the end. Right. Divide everything by two at the end. So let's go through that. Let's go through that. Okay. Okay. okay.